Good afternoon. I'm going to do a demo of a Z Boost. Let me see if I can zoom into it. This is the CANT00. 41 It's a tri-band Yagi antenna, kind of looks like a popsicle with 75 ohm connection on this end to a looks like a maybe a TNC antenna on the Z-Boost device um, I just installed this today since it's in it's close to 50 degrees today. It's been very cold here in New England, but uh, I wanted to demo it. Uh, I got this from a website in, well, based in Brooklyn, but it took absolutely forever to get this. It was about 60 bucks for this that I paid for it, so I want to see how good it is. I got it further, furthest away from the, the pole, and it's pointed toward the uh, cell sites hour behind that hill on top of a mountain. We're going to do a test with the uh, with and without it on the 4G LTE router with voice and we're going to do a speed test wirelessly. Uh, I think you'd be kind of interested to see how this works. So let me come in the window. Um, if I upload this with the 4G LTE it's probably going to eat up a lot of my data but uh, it's about seven megs up. Uh, let me show you. I showed this in one of my earlier videos. This is a 3G uh, cellular repeater uh, uh, cellular repeater that um, uh, cell service in this house is is very poor because there's metal metal stuff underneath for insulation under the vinyl siding. So uh, this is the 4G LTE add-on that goes with the 3G the 3G uh, Z-Boost uh, repeater feeds let me move these it feeds into of course I think I showed this too it feeds into a 5 to 2000 megahertz uh, uh, bi-directional splitter uh, and they give you the chintziest cable with this. Uh, they give you RG59, which is poor quality cable for frequencies that high. So I have a box, which is under there, of uh, it's RG6 Tri Shield. Let me pick this up. Uh, let me close this. Uh, it's still not warm enough to have that open. Oops. My tripod's in the way anyway, so that's closed. Um, and here's the 4G. I got my new chair. So here's the 4G LTE uh, router with voice. As of right now, the signal is blinking full with this. I want to show you a little difference. Let's see if I can actually go like this. And we're gonna unplug it and see what it does. And it should drop down. And it dropped down to like three. It's three bars from this location. Uh, let's do a test with it unplugged over here wirelessly using speedtest.net okay and we'll just go back to new server this is without the booster I'm still undetermined with this antenna I haven't used it enough to see if it makes up a huge difference this is without Thirty-two meg, uh, thirty-two milliseconds for the ping is good. I'm getting about thirteen down. This has an N card in it. The up was about six to seven. I don't know. 
It's very kind of strange. See now it's for some reason it's only one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do a little test once it's done. Yeah, that's very poor. I didn't even it wasn't even a mega and a half. So let's uh let's switch it. Plug it back in. And we'll note the signal on the 4G LTE router. It's almost full. The other side's the phone, that's full all the time. So that's on the 3G network, so. Alright, here goes. We're gonna reset the test. And and we're just gonna start the speed test here. There we go. Things at 39. This is about 10. It's between 10 and 50, and it varies tremendously. It's a little over 8, but it was more this morning. It was about 14. I don't know what causes it to change so much. And here's the upload. Yeah, it was more than that. It was about 7. But it's at 5. A little more than 5. Actually, it's almost 6. Um... I had it about seven earlier, and I say this is remote uh, wirelessly, but I'm gonna do another. I'll do another test and post it maybe later, but uh, I'm not sure why um, it's doing this. But uh, depends where it is. Um, I've tried moving it around. I had the 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 remote things there, but I don't think it was. Uh, I think the antenna was probably seeing the booster. So I moved it more of a little uh, block a little bit by the windows here. So, and this device, um, I had voice with it, but I don't now. And uh, it uh, it works pretty well. Uh, so I had to get the data back after I ported it back to a landline, and uh, it uh, took a, uh, took some time because. Uh, these are, have a non-removable SIM card. Let me show you. I don't know if I showed much about this. It does have a three-port Ethernet connection. And it has a spot. These are SMA uh, females, I believe, uh, uh, for external antennas. Uh, I forgot what company makes this. It begins with the N. But uh, I wanted to uh, demo this and uh, see what you thought. So... All right. Have a great day. Thank you.